How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I'm going to give you guys a little comparison between ExpressVPN and CyberGhost. Some of you guys have been asking which one could be better. Now it really depends on what you're looking for out of these VPNs you know so we'll get into that in just a second but if you're looking for a full review of the privacy policy, the speed streaming and torrenting capabilities as well as security features you'll find in the reviews down below all the details that you're looking for. And you'll find links to pricing and discounts if you're interested. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Now, I like to start with privacy policies. Now, both VPNs do claim a no logs policy. It's just about which VPN provides us with enough evidence to prove that they have a true no logs policy. Now, in CyberGhost's case, unfortunately, there really isn't any evidence. They do have transparency reports, but transparency reports are only there to show you if there are any, as you can tell, DMCA complaints or uh, government subpoenas or police requests, so on and so forth. It really doesn't show that they do uphold the no logs policy or it doesn't prove that they truly don't collect any logs. Whereas with ExpressVPN, we do have plenty of audits to show that they do uphold the uh, no logs policy of ExpressVPN. So this is where you could kind of, um, let's say, make the choice, hey, which VPN can I trust my data with more? Now, while CyberGhost does encrypt your data, and it's a pretty solid VPN, um, if we're looking for evidence that they do uphold their no logs policy, then unfortunately it's not there, but it is there with ExpressVPN. So that's one. Two, in terms of speed, I find that uh, CyberGhost is actually pretty quick and uh, the WireGuard protocol tends to do very well. But what I don't like is that oftentimes I have to switch to automatic selection because not all the servers support WireGuard. Whereas with uh, ExpressVPN, let me just put it back here, with ExpressVPN I can choose the lightweight UDP protocol which is the best performing protocol. It's not a WireGuard protocol but it's almost as fast. Um, and I find that ExpressVPN speeds are a little bit more consistent, but that's probably because they have less than half the servers of CyberGhost. So I can imagine the quality, the overall quality of servers with ExpressVPN is just a little bit better because CyberGhost has over 7,000 servers. Um, so you could imagine that some of these servers may not be as good as others. So it's kind of, you know, a little bit inconsistent when it comes to speed. Whereas with ExpressVPN, you know, the speeds are a little bit more predictable, which is definitely a good thing. In terms of streaming and torrenting capabilities, with ExpressVPN, you can just select any server or any location and you'll be good to go. With CyberGhost, they do have, um, well, dedicated or specialty servers. So no spy servers for privacy, gaming servers for loping. Uh, with torrenting, you have servers and streaming, you also have dedicated servers. And what I like about CyberGhost is that, for example, I wanna unblock Amazon, just look up Amazon, and I have all the servers dedicated for Amazon. Same thing, if I wanna unblock Netflix, it'll give me all the uh, available servers for Netflix. It's a pretty cool feature. Whereas with ExpressVPN, all the servers typically support everything, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's a pretty cool feature uh, to see CyberGhost providing here. Um, so again, both allow for peer-to-peer -peer and torrenting fully, no bandwidth limitations and no restrictions. So that is definitely pretty cool. In terms of security features, CyberGhost does have some basic security features such as, you know, DNS blocks and preventing leaks and whatnot, and you have a kill switch. In terms of actual features such as split tunneling, unfortunately there's no split tunneling. Um, if you go to exceptions, it chooses the websites you don't want to pass through the CyberGhost VPN, but you can't choose certain applications to exclude out of the VPN. With app rules, uh, you can make CyberGhost launch and connect a VPN server automatically when you open up a selected application. So it is a pretty convenient feature, but it's not exactly split tunneling. I personally would prefer split tunneling, and that's exactly what we have here with ExpressVPN. We do get the kill switch right here and split tunneling. And split tunneling, of course, let me just turn it off so that you can see here, otherwise I can't show you. Just turn it on settings and you can select which applications to uh, route through the VPN, which applications you don't want to route through the VPN. So it's a pretty easy to use feature and it's definitely more useful than exceptions in my opinion.
And with regards to obfuscation, unfortunately, CyberGhost lacks the uh, ability to obfuscate traffic, so it still shows that you're using a VPN to your ISP. Uh, with, whereas with ExpressVPN, you do get true obfuscation, uh, which will let you bypass censorship firewalls. So if you're in a censorship-heavy country, ExpressVPN will definitely be your best option. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. Besides that, um, both VPNs are pretty compatible with nearly all kinds of devices, though ExpressVPN will allow you to secure up to five devices and seven devices with CyberGhost. So if you're looking for a very easy to use, very consistent, reliable, very privacy uh, focused VPN, go with ExpressVPN. If you're looking for a very budget friendly VPN, much cheaper than ExpressVPN, that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost and it still does the job well, really, you don't get split tunneling, um, unfortunately, so if that's something that you don't really care about and you just want to, you know, torrent and unblock streaming services reliably, then CyberGhost also does the job very well. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about them. Comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.